No other vehicle than the Volkswagen Beetle probably symbolizes the 60s hippie movement like the Volkswagen van. And this is the brand new Volkswagen Rutan. Can you picture it with bright yellow daisies painted on it? No, it's not very likely at all. And by the way, Zach, it's actually pronounced Rutan. Rutan, Rutan, whatever. You know what they should have called this thing? They should have called it the Volkswagen Grand Caravan. Okay, now what Smarty Pants back there is talking about is the fact that this vehicle is made in Windsor, Ontario, right next to the granddaddy of all minivans, the Dodge Grand Caravan. Vaughn. Volkswagen has wanted to expand their share in North America, and in order to do that, they needed a full model lineup. So instead of developing their own van, they decided to modify the best-selling van in the market. You know what, I really don't get this whole thing, Lacey, because people that buy Volkswagens are generally trying to get into the German car experience, and there ain't nothing German about this. This is good old American iron. What are you talking about, Zach? This thing just screams Volkswagen. I mean, come on, just look at it next to the Grand Caravan. They look nothing the same. Okay, who's kidding who? Their twins lost at birth. Honestly, Zach, I don't know who they're fooling. The differences are really subtle. All they really change is the front grille, headlights, rear lights, and wheels. Honestly, I kind of like the looks of this one better. And they tweaked the inside, too. They had to do something to change a Grand Caravan into a Rutan. <laughs> the interior has a more upscale feel with softer materials on the dash instead of hard plastic satin metal look breaking up the dash and better looking instrument gauges. This begs the question, why couldn't Dodge have come up with this look on their own? Look at the Grand Caravan and the Rutan side by side, and the VW does have more flow and eye appeal. The seats are more bolstered in the front and back in the Volkswagen. Keep in mind though, there is no stow and go seating option available in the Volkswagen. You do, however, still get the storage bins behind the front seat. Just like the Dodge Grand Caravan, the Rutan has the shifter coming out of the dash. You've got four trim levels to choose from. The Trend Line, Comfort Line, High Line, and Exec Line. Now the prices range from $28,000 all the way up to $50,000. This Comfort Line is probably going to be the volume seller. It starts at just under $34,000. If you want a complete list of specs, you can go to our website. <coughs> One thing that makes the Rattan more attractive than the Dodge products is the fact that the 4-liter V6 engine that's only offered on the more expensive, higher trim levels of the Dodge and Chrysler products comes standard on the Volkswagen. It's a solid power plant with 251 horsepower and 259 pound-feet of torque. Another thing that makes the Rattan more attractive is the fact that it has a six-speed automatic transmission as standard equipment. Now, the six-speed automatic transmission is only available on the higher, more expensive trim levels of the Dodge and Chrysler products. Their base minivans come with a four-speed automatic. Now, there's a huge difference between the four-speed and the six-speed, especially when you utilize the four-liter V6. We love the new Grand Caravan for the ultra-quiet interior, and this Volkswagen is just as luxurious. It's still one of the best on the road. I had a chance to drive the Dodge Grand Caravan down at the media release in California, and I really enjoyed driving it. A lot of the things that I liked about the Caravan carry over to the Volkswagen. It's got a quiet interior, very comfortable seats, and responsive steering. The great thing about the Rattan is the engine. I really appreciated it when I was trying to pass vehicles on the highway. The Volkswagen didn't just take a VW badge and stick it on the front of this thing and call it a day. No, they actually put a little bit more effort in than that. I can tell they've adjusted the suspension just a little bit to give a bit more feedback to the driver, and the steering feels heavier. I think the steering is a bit too heavy for most taste. The one thing about the Dodge product is how easy and light it is to drive. The VW just makes a heavy vehicle feel heavy. But the problem is, people are going to look at this van and they're going to drive it and it's not going to give them the German driving experience that they're expecting from a Volkswagen. They have taken a very good van, that Dodge Caravan is excellent, and they've morphed it into a Volkswagen, but it's not the German driving experience. I wish that Volkswagen had brought the very cool and slightly smaller seven-passenger van they sell in Europe called the Turan and brought it to North America. That vehicle has a smaller, efficient engine and is even available with a diesel. 
This Volkswagen van is big. It has a big V6 engine that uses 12 liters per 100 kilometers in the city and 7.9 on the highway. The European diesel, by comparison, uses only 8.7 in the city. The smaller European version, I think, would have been better placed to be different. I know, I know, we're not Europeans, but this van isn't German either. Now, Zach, we should also mention that the Volkswagen comes with a longer standard warranty than the Dodge products, which is also a bonus. What do you think? Kind of a bit puzzling. Well, here's what I like about the Volkswagen. I, you know, all kidding aside, I think the Volkswagen execution of this van looks better. Lacey uh, mentioned off the beginning, I think it looks better on the outside, and they did a much better job on the inside. Softer materials on the dash, bigger bolstered seats, they broke up the dash a little bit. I think it looks better. Now, in favor of this van, the thing about it is it is really a Grand Caravan. And the Grand Caravan, in my opinion, is one of the best vans on the road, bar none. It's quiet, it's smooth, it's got all kinds of features on the inside, it's very well executed. So to stick a Volkswagen badge on there, you know, they get all the benefit of that. And I think that Volkswagen offers more value, which is really a shame for Dodge in the Grand Caravan. You get the four liter engine as standard equipment, you get the six speed automatic as standard equipment, and if you want that on the Dodge product, you gotta go to the top level. On the downside, it's not German, it's American, and it's got a Volkswagen badge on the front, and people who are looking for that German experience are not gonna get that with this vehicle. What I wish Volkswagen had done is brought over their European van called the Turan. It's slightly smaller than this van. There is no four-cylinder van in the market. They'd have it all to themselves. Now, I don't have a crystal ball, and I might be totally wrong in this one, but I kind of think that this Rutan might have the same fate as the Sabaru. Remember that? The Saab and the... No, I don't remember Subaru it Subaru stuck all. together? Yeah. It's good to forget. All right, what do you like about it? Well, you know what, Zach? You mentioned the value. The drivetrain on the Rutan is absolutely fantastic. I love the comfy seats. They are a little bit more comfortable than the Caravan. And I agree with you. I really do like the improvement on the styling. It is subtle, but again, I do like it a touch better than the Caravan. And on the downside, it would have been nice to have seen the stow and go offered on this vehicle. And I really wish it was just a little bit more original. I think that's why a lot of Volkswagen people buy Volkswagens, that they set them apart from the competition. And speaking of original, even the key fobs are exactly the same. Now, if you have a look at them, you probably can't even tell the difference. Well, you turn them around, that one says Dodge, and that one says VW. But the funny thing is, you know who came up with these key fobs? Mercedes-Benz. Mercedes and Chrysler used to be together. This key originally came from the Mercedes product. They put it into Dodge, which then turned into Volkswagen. That's all confusing. Poor Zach. For complete specs, go to our website at drivingtelevision.com.